What's up everyone? It's your boy Jermaine Back with another video Back with another walking tour video And as of now we're at 5th and Market This is the train station down below And We're gonna Sort of go for a little walk. I don't think I've went this way before. And today's crazy windy. Um, I, I didn't check the forecast before I um, said I'm gonna go out and make videos. Today was one of those days I said, hey, today will be a really nice day to make videos. And when I meant by nice, I meant like nice outside. I didn't mean like nice and wind and weather. Here is a, um, this is a, a hotel. I don't know if it's open. Looks like it's still closed, uh, the Pack 55. This was a pretty large hotel, if I'm not mistaken. There was a lot of events and stuff would, would go on there. It's a pretty big building, look how big, big that building is. Looks like it's still closed down. Unless there's an entrance on the backside. But there's just so many hotels around. Oh, there's this Burger King. Burger King actually has two entrances. On well, Uber Eats, I pick up there quite often. I like picking up from this Burger King because uh, I don't know if you're supposed to or they just don't say anything, but they don't trip when you bring your bike in. And any place in the city, if you could take your bike inside, that's better than leaving it outside, you know? Unless you got like someone watching it for you. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad deal go inside so we're just gonna you know do our you know Union Square loop but instead I'm gonna take different um, I'm gonna take different streets take a different route don't know if I've ever taken this route before oh, is this restaurant still open yeah this restaurant still open on the right this is the Uber Eats pickup I've been picking up there for a couple times. American Indian cuisine. Prices aren't that bad. American Indian cuisine. <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> it sounds really good, huh? It sounds like a fusion, right? Like they're mixing burgers with Indian food. <laughs> That's not what they're doing, bro. Kind of sounds that way. So, if I'm not mistaken, you can walk through this hotel. I don't know. You could actually do it, but yeah, I think there's a way that you could go through and enter the other street. I want to say like I picked up an order there once and I left the bike on this side of the street and then I came out on the other side of the street. I don't exactly know how I did that. So I'm actually filming this on a Sunday. And I don't know if these places are closed down. But all these places are closed. These used to be like little small shops, like selling small stuff, hats and stuff like that. Oh, this is closed down. This used to be a Chipotle. That one's closed down. This GNC is still open, looks like. No, it's closed down. But there is also a GNC store not that far away on market. So they probably just went to one location.
it's Sunday. It's pretty darn quiet out here, yeah. Let's check out them streets. Alright. Get out of the street. <laughs> This building on the right is, uh, on the left, this new building. I want to say this is going to be some sort of, some sort of store or something. I think that, I think that might be a Macy's. I could be mistaken. And it's supposed to be like a restaurant on the top and... I think it's going to be something on this level here as well. That's a really, 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 really cool looking view. Good out here, yo. Yeah. It is such a nice day today. Like I said, this is Sunday. This is in the middle of the afternoon. And anyone tell me what this building's gonna be? Wow, look, all these stores have shut down. I think that used to be like the back of a Walgreens or something or a CVS. Seems to be. I'm sure people know. Yeah, that used to be such and such, such and such. At 8:42 <laughs> in the video. You know something I'm starting to notice that they're doing more in the city. They're getting rid of the meters, and they're replacing the meters with with like this box. Like you see across the street, that box right there. Uh, five nine three zero 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 one zero they're putting those up and i don't know why the city hasn't thought about this years ago they should have did that like forever ago yo um the reason why i say that because you could just have like one box and it can be for like this whole block right you see all these cars it could be for the whole block instead they have let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have twelve meters, right? So what they're gonna do is replace the meters with like one box. So in this case, for example, they would replace twelve of these old school manual meters, which they have to always do maintenance on, y'all. They always have to do maintenance on because they jam, the credit card thing gets jammed. Like there's always like problems so that it's not like 
it's not like you know set it and forget it so they're gonna do um they're gonna do away with the meters and just put those boxes there so you just go up and pay the box now the box is gonna be a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot less maintenance because you know if the box breaks down you know they could you know just repair the box but i guess one bad thing about the box is if the box breaks down i guess the whole block gets free parking <laughs> instead of if you have like you know seven out of ten meters broken you know you have like seven out of ten people getting free parking instead of let's just stop instead of you have um let's continue and, and instead of you have the whole block getting free parking so I think it would be a little bit different. Oh, it is. It's very early. The, the shops aren't even open. We need some fancy stuff. It's not even open yet. We're actually going to go down this alley. Then we're going to um, gonna sort of go up Kearney. Wow, I remember the same alley during the, the looting in San Francisco. The same alley was just covered in boxes and shoe boxes and stuff. And this was one of the shops that is um, Alexander McQueen there taking the shoes from. There was so many littered shoe boxes like all around. It was insane. And that's the place that I came from. Definitely not a fan of <laughs> Definitely not a fan of their fashions, you yeah. know. I mean, I'm not knocking them, but, you know. I mean, people like what they like. You know. A lot of people that night love Alexander McLean. McLean or whatever. The, the, the red bottom shoes. <laughs> That's what they were. It was people screaming. Oh, red bottoms. Red bottoms. Oh, my gosh. So funny. Ah, enough with those nights. <laughs> That's why there's like cop cars all around. Because they don't want like, you know, the whole Louis Vuitton thing to happen again to like some other shop. Can you wait? Well, I heard a rumor that um, the city was going to close all the Amazon ghost stores. Well, not the city, but Amazon was all the ones in the city. I think there's like three. Yeah, I felt like, um, I think there's like three or four in the city. But that's kind of, that, that kind of sucks because I like the Amazon boat, so. But I'm going to keep it real. They, they don't have a lot of options, though. It's very, very, very limited, you know. It's not like something you can, it's not like a 7-Eleven. Where 7 Eleven has way more things to choose from. Those Amazon Go stores were extremely selective. Selected, you know, they just have like X amount of products and X amount of space, and this is all our computers can handle for right now. You know, until Nvidia can make that new chip, you know. <laughs> so that's kind of where I think that's where they were. I could be wrong, but. I mean, just going in there and just looking at the selection of items, you know, it's, uh, they could definitely have more stuff. They could have more things there, but I get it. It's sort of a test location. They used to have one in the mall. I don't know. It closed down a while ago. It didn't last long at all. I think it was open less than a month. My guess is it was something that, that happened with, with the mall location. Because why else would they just close it, you know? Especially if they want people to like use it and get, get used to it and stuff. Putting it in a mall would be, would be a, a great location for that, you know? But instead, you know, they're not putting it in a mall because, yeah, that's right, that's right. I don't know, that's for whatever right. reason. 
you know, because putting it in a mall, like, gosh, on the Friday, Saturday nights, you'd have so many, like, you know, young, young, young people that could go there and experience it for the first time, you know. And who, who knows? Maybe that was their problem. <laughs> maybe they had people crashing there or people figuring out, like, hey, this is how to take from the Amazon Go store. And then there's just, like, crap, closed down the mall locations. Well, that, that doesn't make any sense because if people actually figured out a loophole like that, they would just take it to the to the other locations, you know? I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Let's cross the street really fast. Beautiful afternoon. Wow, all these places are closed. This is a very, really popular Uber Eats pickup place. Don't know, I've never eaten there. I don't think they have anything to begin on the menu. I hear people talk about that location quite a, quite a bit. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. This is just gonna be a short one. Don't worry, I'll make another walking tour video today. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out, y'all. Peace out.